Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for The Walking Dead. This one's going to be doing our weekly character moment video. This one is the top five best moments of Simon from The Walking Dead. Alright guys, this one's going to be doing another video today. This one's going to be doing another video for The Walking Dead. This one's going to be doing another video for The Walking Dead, the top five uh, best character moments. This one is the winner of the poll this week, which is Simon from The Walking Dead. So, uh, he w easily won the poll this week. I mean, I guarantee it's because of Dead City, because he smoked the other characters on that list this week. Holy frig. So, um, Simon is uh, one of my favorite characters of Walking Dead. He is absolutely amazing. And you know what the funny thing is about this list? And it's honestly one of the first times I'm doing this. Um, this list will consist of scary, intimidating moments. But there's a few moments I chucked in here that are so freaking hilarious that they're one of my favorites from him. So you're going to get a bit of a variety in this list. Because he's freaking hilarious, but he's also so intimidating when he wants to be. You know what I mean? And that's what's so great about Simon. So first of all, I should say Stephen Ogg is an incredible actor. Um... He's absolutely phenomenal, obviously known as Trevor in GTA 5, but I mean, he is just, he's incredible. I, I still can't believe they got him for Simon. I really can't. So, all right, let's go through the top five uh, favorite moments of mine from Simon, whether they're funny or they're just, you know, really scary, which is a healthy mix of both in here. We're going to get started with one of my favorite comedy lines of Walking Dead. I don't know why every time I freaking hear this line, I laugh my ass off. When you've got number five, wakey, wakey, eggs, pancakey, Gregory. No thank you. No. Yay. No thank you. No. Yay. <laughs> you know? And then he sits there and he like talks to him and he's like, okay, we're going to fill Negan in on the plan. We're going to tell him exactly what's going on. You're going to, you know, really approach him about this. But first off, you're going to fill your belly up with my love. I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay there, Simon. Uh, <laughs> that freaking scene. That scene is absolutely hilarious. I don't know why. Like it was like the opening scene of that episode and it completely threw me off. I was like, what kind of episode are we jumping into here? Like seriously. Um, that scene is freaking hilarious. Comedy wise, it's one of my favorites. Uh, number four is then going to be Simon versus Negan. So this is Simon's final fight. Um, obviously, you guys know I'm not a big fan of Simon being the main villain of season eight. I feel like he took up a little bit too much screen time. Um, but I really love the uh, the uh, the the choreography in this scene and the just overall kind of uh, look of it. It's really really good. You've got. Negan that confronts him, he's like, you want to be the man, you got to beat the man. He's like, well, you should be the man, if that's the case, you know. And Simon stands there and he's like, okay, when this is done, you know, uh, we're going to get to work. Uh, the destruction of the hilltop, destruction of everybody else, and he's like rolling up his sleeves, you know, and he's like, the sanctuary must stand. And he's like, he points at Negan, he's like, this is not the man to prosecute this whole thing or whatever. And he even makes fun of his lean, he's like, I just wanted to say, you know. And then he friggin' punches him, right? And you've got the big fight that goes down, which I thought was really exciting. And even to a point in this one where Simon actually gets a good start on Negan, but Negan overpowers him over time, and it's a really visceral fight. Uh, meanwhile, you've got Dwight and, and Gregory, like, you know, he gives uh, Gregory, like, keys to a car so he can escape while Simon is getting his ass whooped. And uh, Simon gets choked out by Negan, and Negan tells him in that moment, you know, those people are always going to find a way to fight back and to, you know, come back at us. So now i got to kill all of them, just like i got to kill you, you know? And I thought that was a phenomenal, um, phenomenal fight scene. Again, I don't agree with what they did with Simon in some of those episodes. I feel like they treated him a little bit too much as the villain where Negan kind of took too much of a back seat. But I do like the final fight. The final fight was really well made. It was really well done. And the confrontation was, was really cool. It, it felt like a real life fight. It really did. Um, so I, I did appreciate the way that was done. Uh, number three is then going to be Simon then takes the uh, liquor from Gregory and has a chat with him. So <laughs> this was amazing. Uh, they talk, of course. They they uh, they get to know each other a little bit. They are both lying out of their asses. I mean, they're both lying like crazy. But, um, you know, I love it too because they mentioned like he's like, yeah, for now, I'm your Negan, you know. And Simon's like trying to talk to Gregory, uh, you know, the whole time. And Gregory's like acting like he's like this big shot that like, yeah, everybody follows me. You know what I mean? And there's even a moment in this one too where Gregory tries to respond to what Simon's doing. He's like, yeah, so, uh, you know, uh, the message was well received, loud and clear. And he's like, what was the message? And he's like, well, I, I just think you were telling us who was boss, you know? And then Simon's like, oh yeah. Anyway, but that painting though, that painting is so good, you know? And he takes it later on. Of course, he takes it to the Negan truck. 
And um, Gregory almost, the little weasel he is, almost rats out Maggie and Sasha. And he takes them to the closet and Jesus had swapped them out. And now there's a bunch of liquor in the closet that Gregory now has to give over to him. And I love it too because he's just like, yeah, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to say this came from me. Not mention you, okay? I really want the headline on this one, you know? And he's like, okay, Gregory, you want to slide that bottle back in? And he doesn't do it. And he's like, sorry, I shouldn't ask. Okay, you want to slide that one back in? period, you know, and he friggin', uh, he slips the bottle in and lets him take it, right, and makes him kneel for crying out loud, too, and he, like, messes up Gregory's, like, few hairs on his head, you know what I mean, uh, yeah, great scene, love the scene, I love how the both of them could tell they're friggin' lying to each other and they're full of crap, but they just don't really acknowledge it, you know, it's, it's really, really good, uh, their interactions, Simon and Gregory, you can't tell me that's not entertaining, them two, holy frig, uh, they are absolutely hilarious when they have scenes together, um, Okay, now, these two are pretty major. Number two is going to be Simon confronts Rick and the others in the woods. I mean, this scene is so terrifying. It is so friggin' terrifying. You've got Rick and them that are trying to get Maggie to Hilltop. They're trying to run through the woods. You hear the whistling. They're trying to run in every which direction. And Simon and his guys finally catch Rick and them in the dead of night. And he walks out there. Rick is shaking. Everybody's terrified. And he's like, good, you made it. Welcome to where you're going, you know? And he's like walking through the shadows and all that stuff. Like, talk about a villain introduction. I mean, Negan's was even better, but Simon's was absolutely incredible as well. He was terrifying in that scene. And they took their weapons from them, and Rick's like, we can talk about it. He's like, we're done talking. It's time to listen. Wow, absolutely insane, man. And then my favorite moment for Simon, it's the biggest villain act he ever did. And I low-key kind of thanked him for this because I couldn't stand this group. Number one is when Simon freaks out, disobeys Negan, and takes out every last one of the junkyard people. I mean, holy frig, man. You could tell, and it's my favorite Simon scene for one reason. Um, Stephen Ogg has this way of performing it where you can tell he's trying to hold it together. You know what I mean? Like you can tell he wants to just freak out, but he's like holding it in and it builds up within him during the scene and he gets more aggressive, more crazy. And by the end of it, he just says, slaughter them all. I mean, he just kills every last one of them and lies to Negan's face. I mean, it is such a crazy scene because in that moment you realize, okay, Simon is a friggin' problem. Like Simon, like he may have been a problem before, but he just flat out murdered an entire settlement of people that again, I don't like them. I think the junkyard sucked, but it was such a great villain moment for him and where it goes and you know, the rivalry that he has with Negan as a result to this scene it absolutely is my favorite Simon moment, for sure. It's the biggest villain moment for him where he shined and he had a real impact, you know what I mean? And I remember when Rick tells him in A12, too, he's like, yeah, after what you did to Jadis's people, and Negan's like, what the hell are you talking about, you know? Like, it has such an impact on the story, it really does. So, yeah, amazing sequence there. And Simon is a character, amazing villain, love his character, love the arc that they put him on, and Stephen Ogg, again, is just such a powerhouse. I mean, honestly, I'm so grateful Walking Dead had him for damn near two seasons. I mean, that is incredible. So anyway, let me know in the comment section below, what is your favorite Simon moments from The Walking Dead? Be sure to leave those down below. Do you love Simon as much as I do? Because I think he is an incredible villain. And now it's time to hear from you guys and your thoughts on Simon from Walking Dead. So anyway, if you're new to the channel, guys, and you enjoy this video, make sure to click to subscribe and you don't miss any of the videos for The Walking Dead. Be sure to follow me on Dan's The Walking Dead reviews on Instagram, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys will you soon for uh, more videos of the walking dead enjoy the rest of your day guys and peace out